we're going to bring up uh, truly a Charlotte legend to do an ongoing series, let's say, that he's done called Comedy by Proxy, where he lets just any old asshole send him jokes to tell, and then he is forced by law to tell them on stage. So please clap very hard for Carlos Valencia, everybody! The opinions expressed in these jokes do not necessarily reflect the views of Carlos Valencia Incorporated. This first joke is uh, from Matthew from Peoria, Illinois. Yeah, so apparently this one played in Peoria. He's like, hey, how about this pickup line? Hey, baby, are you a coffin? Because you look dead on the inside. Matthew from Peoria, Illinois. This is from Damien from New Orleans, Louisiana. Damien says, when you think, quote, incest is really disgusting, do you think that for moral reasons or for ugly family reasons? <laughs> well, you gave me credit for that? That's Damien's joke, dude. I think that's a good joke for Dave. Thank you, thank you. I, you're saying I saved it with a delivery, is what you're saying. Thank you so much. I will take hold. If the joke does really well, I'll take credit for it. If it bombs, I'm like, well, look at what they just fucking <laughs> made me say on a microphone. This is from Rodney. Rodney from Kentucky. He yeah. says, yes, Jesus. Can somebody get this guy out of here? <laughs> Dating over 50 is risky. I fucked the shit out of this lady last weekend. After we finished, she asked me to empty her colostomy bag. Oh. Fuck the shit literally out of the lady. Brett. Brett from uh, Charlotte. Charlotte, Vermont. Ah, see, I got you. Apparently there's a Charlotte in Vermont. He says, did you hear Kanye burn his library card? No. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, I didn't either. So, so that's good, because if you had, then I'd have to end the joke at that point, but you haven't. So Kanye burned his library card. He's done with them after hearing they use the Jewy decimal system. <laughs> Jewy decimal system. If somebody could just explain it to these people having a conversation over there. I just feel sorry for Brett. I mean, these people are in their own fucking world over here. You're missing this comedy gold from Brett. <laughs> when will you ever get to hear a joke from Brett? Is it any wonder I want to tell other people's jokes and not my own? <laughs> Patricia from Florida sent this one. What do you call a surprise attack by a pig? A ham bush. All right, that's a short one. Patricia from Florida sent that one. Ricky from Huntsville, Alabama sent this one. Am I the only one jerking off to naked and afraid? I usually try to come when the chick says, we need some protein. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'll do it when the guy says it, though. Yeah. That's when I'm naked and afraid. Somebody sent this one tonight, because you sent my email out. Somebody actually thought this would be a good thing to say on stage, and now I'm contractually obligated to say it. This is from Catherine. I don't know if Catherine is still out there. Catherine says, who's keeping Long John Silvers in business? And then it's not a joke, just a genuine question. Uh, Catherine, I don't know if you're still out there, but uh, you should check out my Genuine Question show. <laughs> this is more of a joke show. <laughs> this is from Chris from Charlotte. Chris from Charlotte. Thank God there's so many Chris's. You'll never be able to figure this out. Women be shopping. Yeah! 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 I hate that that's the joke that got the biggest reaction. <laughs> Chris from Charlotte, whoever you may be. And this is the last one, this is the last one. 
Paul from Charlotte. Paul, thank God there's so many polls, you won't be able to narrow this one down. Again, I didn't write it. This guy, you know, this kid, I was talking to this kid, he was all concerned about going to college because he was like, oh, no, whatever, go to college. And then, you know, somebody accused me, accuses me of rape. Right? And then he was talking to his sister about this. Like, oh, you know, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. I, I went to college and I was afraid of getting raped. I didn't get raped. And then he was like, yeah, but nobody's ever lost a scholarship for getting raped. Paul from Charlotte, North Carolina. That's my time. Thank you. Good night, everybody. I didn't write it. Carlos Valencia, everybody. Give it up. It wasn't his fault.